Royals changing their hair color, experimenting with style and even getting tattoos is nothing new, but no body modification has been as rebellious as Zara Tyndall's tongue piercing. The Princess Royal's daughter was just 17 when she decided to debut a metal tongue stud for her royal family at King Charles' 50th birthday party in 1998. Given the bold beauty trend, Zara laughed off her teenage years as a royal queen. Rebels in an interview with Tatler in 2011. Welcome to Royal Experts. If you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any news about the British royal family. The Olympic jockey was first pictured with the stunning hull shot at the double print British Horse Trials Championship. Zara laughed and revealed the shiny iron, and also rocked platinum blonde hair in the final years of her teens. At least it didn't come out of my nose, or anything like that she told Tatler magazine, adding that these days she was more likely to be found at home with her children and cooking spaghetti bolognese for her husband, Mike Tyndall. At least it didn't come out of my nose, or anything like that, she told Tatler magazine, adding that these days she was more likely to be found at home with her children and cooking spaghetti bolognese for her husband, Mike Tyndall. It is believed that Zara got the piercing at a tattoo parlor near Gordon Stone School in Moray, Scotland, where she was a boarding school student. Although her new rebellious look was making headlines in the 1990s, Zara appeared to be removing the silver barbell from her tongue very quickly, after she was photographed, just a year later in 1999 with the screw removed. Princess Anne was reportedly unfazed by her daughter's shocking new look, and simply asked her if she was able to properly converse with the invasive accessory. Former royal butler Grant Harold, who worked in royal households in the 1990s, remembers the moment he saw Zara's new tongue piercing. Speaking on behalf of the Spin Genie, Grant told The Express, she was the first member of the royal family I met. In Scotland, I was working and it was a weekend. All in the press was that she had her tongue pierced and it was very exciting. Because when she was talking to us, I suddenly saw the tongue piercing and said, oh, I saw it. Grant added, she's down to earth, fun and naughty. The agreement reached that day was that Anne didn't want her children to have titles so they could have a normal life and do normal things, that's what she wanted. Thanks for watching until the end.